So continue from part two. Uh, just want to make sure you know there's no typo. Uh, I had a double code over here, so it should be single code as long as they match. So if you do the C01, if we want to track down the address, you can see O1 is learned from the local um, host one. Uh, O2, local host one as well. O3, local host two. Four. Uh, local host, host 2. 6 and 7, they should go to uh, through the uplink, through the, uh, you know, uh, uplink to the 5k6. And 10 should be local as uh, host 2. And the 11 should be local, okay? Uh, should be the remote uh, through through the sending enclosure. So, uh, basically, we want to, we make the uh, virtual connect as uh, essentially a pseudo wire, a path through the device to and the aggregation all the traffic uh, to the uplink and you know through the downlink as well okay so on the 5k you can see the 400 uh, 401 402 same thing for the uh, 5k2 400 401 402 okay so pretty much you can see uh, on the 5k uh, you know and the virtual connect, you know, what's the MAC table look like. So the key thing is over here is to make sure you have the you have a regular 5K configuration and a VMware configuration for the PVLAN and on the virtual connect make a tunnel v VNet to make sure we tunnel the traffic back and forth without interfering any, you know, security. We leave all the security handling for the PVLN at the VMware la layer and the 5K layer. Okay, so that's it.